Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so glad. Thank God for the great weather, but uh, this community is a community I started out in when I first became a police officer. So Tammy Rodriguez, one of the uh, organizers, we worked together. Kim Ogg, uh, we worked together at that time. She was in the, uh, the mayor's anti-gang office. So it's like coming back home. Uh, what a great community in the Gulfton area. I know it gets a lot of negative press sometimes, but this is great. these are great people in a great neighborhood. So anytime we can come together, to fight crime and bring people together, I'm excited about it, and this is what it's about today. What does it mean with physical presence out here? I was talking to Tammy about that too. You know, Look, uh, fighting crime takes the community coming together and a right. crowd like this to show that they support that. You, cause. You, you got it. It's not the police alone, especially when you're looking at homicide. It's everybody working together to prevent it and drive those numbers down. So, um, hope the COVID numbers are stay away, and it's so good because you can't do this on Zoom. You can't. It has to be face to face, touching people, touching hearts and minds. And uh, I'm excited. You see the young people, middle aged, older people. I saw my uh, 
former principal to my kids' elementary school, Miss Hardwell. I just saw her and I hadn't seen her in years, so it's great. So thank y'all. Thank you for being here. I say it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to be with all of you. I certainly want to start off by acknowledging your council member, council member Pollock, who is just doing an exemplary job in representing District J. Give it up to your council member, council member Pollock. Also want to acknowledge all of these individuals, these elected officials who are standing behind me. Uh, well, let me first, let me acknowledge these community leaders, from Tammy to Veronica to all of you, all the communities, the neighborhoods that have come together because it takes all of that. So I especially want to acknowledge the people who live in this area, who live in District J, who live in the Gufton area, uh, for standing up and joining with law enforcement. So a special acknowledgement and shout out to all of the people who actually live in this, in this community. To the, the elected officials who are standing behind me, and as Councilman Pollard say, you do see a, a strong coalition of partners. Uh, from Congresswoman Fletcher, uh, represented on the federal level, who is here in person uh, this morning. Uh, that speaks volumes. To State Representative Jean Wu, who represents this area, who's always here. Certainly want to acknowledge him and his, what he's doing in the legislature. And then as we go down to Commissioner, uh, uh, to Commissioner Jack Cagle, who I was just with on yesterday. Certainly appreciate, appreciate him to the Harris County DA, uh, who is carrying that, that fight on that front, uh, DA Kim Ogg, who is with us here. And then, cannot exclude or overlook Chief, Chief Troy Fenner of the Houston Police Department. <laughs> Chief Troy Fenner and all of these police officers and law enforcement personnel, uh, uh, personnel, Fit roughly 5,200 police officers, and look, and they are trying to uh, cover uh, 640 square miles. So I certainly want to thank them for being on the front line and for doing their part. Please give it up to our law enforcement and to Judge Israel Garcia. Where's Judge? Right there. Please give it up to Judge Garcia. The point that I want to make, and I'm going to move on, and that is it takes all of us working together to be on the same page, law enforcement and community on the same, on the same team. We just have one common enemy, one common enemy, and, th and, that's, and those are people who seek to break into people's homes, to assault people, burglarize their property, commit homicides, those are the people that we are standing against. And, 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 and when the community and law enforcement are on the same page, you will see the numbers come down. And they will come down when all of us, all of the partners, federal, state, local, and county, are working together. And then I do want to acknowledge, because there are other partners, like Chief Sam Pena with the fire department, who is with us. So we're all coming together. Lastly, what I would say, I do want to acknowledge and thank this community, the management district, the TERS, again, Councilmember Pollard and his staff for working in to put in the license plate readers. I certainly want to acknowledge you taking the initiative under the One Safe Houston plan. We're adding more police to the force, I mean actual police, and then we are also boosting that number by, by providing 125 more police officers per day on the overtime program. We're utilizing more technology, like the license plate readers. So we're doing a lot more of that. And we're working with our community partners. The total cost of the plan that we have put out to fight, to fight crime is $45 million. Those are real, real dollars. And that's why I want you to give a strong shout out a strong shout out to Congresswoman Lizzie Fletcher because those dollars are coming from the American Rescue Plan. So those are $45 million to boost up law enforcement, to boost up over time, to, to get a lot of these guns off the street because there are absolutely too many guns on the street. But the bottom line 
is when we, law enforcement and community, work together, our city is safer for our children, for those who play in, in, in parks like this, and we will get the job done. Thank you very much. I look forward to working with you. Houston police, our constables, our Metro PD, and our prosecutors who take the criminals to court. I want to thank all the members of law enforcement, especially the prosecutors who serve after the police catch them, we're the ones charged with prosecuting them. So we want to thank the community because without you, you're our witnesses, you're the voice of the victims. And I especially want to thank the crime victims who are here today, who as Andy Kahn of Crime Stoppers will tell you, are people who never wanted to be included in a group called Parents of Murdered Children or in a group called the District Attorney's Crime Victims Advisory Panel. We put together a group of crime victims because we need to hear their voices and we want other elected officials to hear them too. And it will come as no surprise to you all that Tammy Rodriguez, the organizer of this March on Crime, is one of our members. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Barbara Virapin, Calandrian Kemp, Scott Ehrenstein, Katie Lowe, Paul Castro, Dr. Alma Allen, Teresa Seck, Tiana Banks, Marintha Sargent, and Larissa Sang. These are real victims who advise us. We are here to hear their voices. We're here to prosecute criminals with evidence that police gather, and it takes all of us working together. So help us by supporting law enforcement prosecutors and mostly crime victims. I want to say something about Troy Fenner and his other chief, Larry Satterwhite, and some other folks here. Back in, 19, in the early 1990s, Gulfton was the epicenter of Houston's crime, especially gang crime and especially murder. We worked together to bring community programs to burn at Balin Park. We worked with the justices of the peace out here before it was Judge Garcia, when it was other judges, to help in the people's court come up with reasonable punishments like community service to help clean up this area. And we worked with law enforcement to eradicate gangs. And while we didn't get rid of all of them, we got rid of a lot of them. But here's who made the difference. Crime victims started a movement. They started a movement to empower the families who had been wronged in crime. And it was the citizens, it was the crime victims who moved in the legislature and city council at commissioner's court to change things. And Gulfton became a safe neighborhood. And while we've got a ways to go and we've seen some issues, let me tell you, Gulfton is better today than it was in the 90s. And it can be better tomorrow than it is today. So thank you, crime victims. Thank you, law enforcement. I'm Catherine Lamb. And, uh, what, what are you out here well, um, I think it's a really important cause. I've been a member of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense since 2012 after the tragedy at Sandy Hook. Unfortunately, things don't seem to be getting better, and so I think it's important to come represent anytime you have a chance to do that rather than just sit home and worry about it. Now, have you, have you been in this area before? You know, I used to be in this area when I was much, much younger. In fact, I lived in this area. Uh, it's, it's changed quite a bit, but it um, still has a place in my heart. What's changed about it? Uh, it it's much uh, more densely populated, for one thing, uh, and definitely more multicultural. Um, so it's really kind of good to be back in the area. Sometimes we get away from areas we've known. Uh, so it's good to reacquaint ourselves with them. And uh, what would you like to see happen? I would really like to see the legislation about uh, free carry changed. And I think that we'll have to stand up and make that happen. Because I do think that the more guns on the streets, the more violence we have. It's a simple equation. Well, I do think educating people about uh, if they're going to own guns, how to do that responsibly is very important. Okay, can I get your name and spell for me, please? 
Yes, it's Catherine Lamb, C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-L-A-M-B. Okay, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Just go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Daddy Azarvi. All right, and uh, what brings you out here today? Uh, I'm here for the march. I actually am a local artist here in Houston. I'm actually the one who done these pillars for the school and a few of the things in the Gulfton community. Uh, so I'm here just to support the march and support uh, what it's all about. Why is it important for you? Uh, for me, I just like uh, being a part of, of things that's on the ground for the community, uh, especially for communities such like Gulfton. Uh, I'm from a community just like this in Louisiana, uh, so I just like to give back uh, to do my part in the same thing. Uh, the March Day is for crime. What would you like to see change about Top of Lake? Uh, I would like to see it a little bit more beautified and just more enhanced and, and, and things that these kids can have to, to look forward to every day and something that can and help them grow and, and open their minds up to new things and, and get them going and started into acclimating into into the city. Yeah. And do you think if there's more things for them to do, that would keep, keep them out of trouble? Yes, I definitely think that. I think uh, they said the idle hands is the devil's playground, so I think kids have something to focus on. Of course, that would definitely keep them out of trouble and continue growing and, and giving back to their own communities. Okay, anything else you want to add in? All right, can I get you uh, can I get your name and also spell for me, please? Uh, my name is Thaddeus RV. That's T H A W D A E U S A R V I E. All right, appreciate it. Are you going to ask a question? Or? Yeah, I'll, I'll ask a question. I'll okay. go to the microphone. Okay. Let's go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Look towards me. Hi, how are you? My name is Misha Hawkins from the Exotic Pop Community Team. Now, what, bring, what brings you out here? Why is it important for you to be out here today? It's important for us to be out here. You know, this area is. Um, a big crime area and we get out in the community we help the community and we're very passionate about helping with anything we can and crime what what a better cause and what would you like to see happen in this area i would like to see um, the more police presence um, also uh, less drug trafficking um, less um, race, racial stereotyping, um, whatever is the major need for this area, whatever this area really needs, um, if it's crime, if it's poverty, if the people need education, if they need resources for food, whatever they need, we would like to help. And which ways would you guys like to help? We, would, we, we provide, our company is Exotic Pop, and we provide beverages and so we would, we're donating, we're here today donating water to everybody in the community so that we can stay hydrated. But we also like whatever proceeds that we collect, we give it back. So whenever you buy a soda, exotic pop soda, then you're purchasing a soda that's going to go back into that community. Those funds, that presence is going to be in your community. So we're local. We're here in Houston. We're a local based company in Houston. Um, we're growing, we're expanding, and we're looking forward to just make it, coming together to make Houston a safer place. And uh, for today's walk, um, how do you think the outcome's going to be? Outcome's going to be great. It's going to be a great uh, presence. There's so many people out here representing um, all different cultures. It's so diverse, and we're just excited to be a part of this this wonderful, wonderful cause. Anything else you want to add in? Yes, also, I'm a victim of crime. My husband was Big Hawk, and he was murdered. And, you know, I'm very passionate about crime, gun violence, anything that we could do to keep Houston safe. Um, just make sure you all just stay up to date with Exotic Pop community. We do a lot of different stuff for our community. Um, we're very passionate about making sure we do give back to our community. Just like coming out here today, the whole team is out here, CEOs out here. Um, we make sure we have a presence and we actually give and do what we say we'll do. And I'm Nikayla Harris um, with Exotic Pop community. And can you your name and spell for please? My name is Misha Hawkins. It's M E S H A H H A W K I N S. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
a Carla Álvarez. ¿Y por qué estás aquí? Bueno, pues trato de aportar, en este caso con mi presencia y la presencia de mis hijos y de mi familia, para apoyar y poner nuestro granito de arena para pedir por, digamos, por la paz y también pues por tantita clemencia en contra de la violencia que se está presentando en nuestra ciudad. ¿Y qué, qué quieres uh, mirar que pasa aquí? Que se escuchen nuestras voces, que se escuche nuestra presencia, eh, que somos más los buenos que los malos y que toquemos un poquito su corazón y la conciencia de las personas que en este caso a veces por ignorancia o por otras carencias lamentablemente actúan de una forma errónea este, y pues el resultado es todo lo que hemos estado pasando en los últimos tiempos. ¿Quieres decir algo más? Pues que se unan a nosotros, que a veces pensamos que este tipo de eventos no ayudan, pero sin embargo muchas veces hacen un poquito de conciencia en la gente y si todos pusiéramos, aunque sea un poquito de nuestro tiempo, a lo mejor el mundo sería muy diferente ahora. ¿Puedes decir tu nombre y puedes decir los letras de Facebook? Ok. En español. En español. Ok. Eh, Carla Álvarez es mi nombre y estamos aquí para pedir por la paz. ¿Y cómo, cómo escribe Carla? Con K. A. R. L. A. Y Álvarez es A. L. B. A. Ah, eh, yes.